It's War Dragon Time, RPW here. And today we are going to do our first review on two of the dragons that were released this season, which is Nalug and Abron. Now, I know I'm a little late at this. I have had so much going on that I really haven't had time to even practice flying these guys. Now, the account that I'm showing you right now is actually my smaller account that I play and he has been working on Nalug, so I could show you guys how he's doing. However, I could have gone further, but I really wanted to work on some egg tokens so I could get these inner fires. So I'm just a few away from his gold at this point. So right now, I think he's like at a level seven. We'll go look at that real quick. And mostly have been doing XP runs, which of course I need to do right now because, well, he's got some multipliers on him. So as I talk about him, we'll fast forward through all the XP runs I need to do. Okay, so of course he is a legendary ice warrior, but let's go over his spells real quick. He's got the Winter's Bite, which is a white spell that takes two rage. So with this spell, you're gonna be able to increase the amount of damage you're doing with your flames by 70%. And it's going to also help speed up the you know amount of projectiles from 95% to 300%. And then of course, sadly, it only lasts two seconds and has a three second cooldown, but it really does help your attack. Now the frost shield is something that is going to take one rage. It is a blue spell and it creates five shards of ice in front of the dragon. And so while it's activated, any projectiles will be absorbed into this shard that's gonna help reduce any kind of you know damage against you. And then it only has a duration of four seconds and a cooldown of 1.5 seconds. Then of course there's the regenerate, which is gonna heal 40% of your dragon's HP over a duration of the spell, which is two seconds long, and it has a four second cooldown. Now the great thing about this particular spell is it has zero rage, so you can spam it. But if there is a blue mage tower there, you're gonna have a struggle with that. Now, as for the Ice Flak Resist, that is another wonderful thing because there's not many with them out there. So when it comes to going out and attacking with him, this will be my very first attack, so bear with me. And he doesn't have everything unlocked yet because he's still only a level seven on this account. So outside of him following me in for XP, my main account, or me doing um, XP runs with him, I really haven't had a chance to fly him. So I've chosen this base um, I'm sorry, not this base. I'm not there yet. I'm trying to choose a base that is about similar to his level. That way we can kind of see, you know, what he really boasts. This one is a little bit under his level and it's going to give me my maximum XP. So I think we're going to go ahead and try this one because I, I don't know how he's going to do yet without that regenerate. All right, so let's jump in here really quick and kind of try this out. Okay, so... The first spell we're gonna try out here is, of course, the white spell, which is called Winter's Bite. And I, I do feel a difference in whenever I use the spell. This feels really good. And it being white, <laughs> of course, is even better. So that, I like that spell. Okay, so let's hop on over to this next island and we'll see what we can do over here. Okay, I'm gonna activate both. It looks like it allows you. I did not notice the blue mage tower, my bad. But again, guys, he's he's doing pretty good. Now, again, if you are looking for, you know, you know, review on this type of dragon for a higher level, you might want to check out another um, YouTube account. I just try to help lower level players at this moment, and we will kind of grow together. All right, um, guys, he feels great. Just the way his flames are, it just feels very responsive. And I feel like I can do a lot with him. Now, I really like this. I like putting these ice shards on these buildings and preventing them from doing anything. Like, it seems to really help out with the um, the farms, for example. Let's play with that one a little extra because I like it. I like putting the ice up there. I think that is probably one of my favorite spells on a warrior. Easily. I think he's definitely worth, if you've gotten him, he's going to be a nice dragon for you. Most definitely. Okay, so that is him flying at level 7. And I'm just going to do a quick little my take on this dragon. I think he's definitely 
a dragon worth having if you decided that you didn't like the other one and you don't want to wait for the next set of dragons to come out or if you particularly really have a love for warrior dragons because again he's going to have the regenerate coming soon which you can spam and then the ice flak resist is something you don't see on other dragons so i give this guy a five star out of five i think he is a great dragon all right so now i'm going to go into my husband's alternate account or his little account because he has nolig now his nolig is a little bit bigger so it's not going to be equal in comparison to a flying with the other dragon but i've got to knock out some more xps like the last round we'll kind of go over his spells while i do that i think i accidentally said a nolig but i meant abron so abron is one that he decided to go for and while we go through these xp runs real quick i'll kind of tell you what he is all about so he is a hunter dragon and he is a wind element and because he's legendary he's going to have four spells total now the first one is chaos this is a blue spell and it takes two rages and it's going to do a 200 percent damage to your basically it's like any of the other chaoses so nothing special any other chaos it's going to add 200 percent damage but it only lasts for four seconds now the spring renewal is something special to this dragon and it is a red spell but it only takes one rage and what it's going to do it's going to target a tower when you apply a mark to it and um, when that mark tower is destroyed you're going to gain 20 percent of that base hp as in as health but you're also going to gain two rages so that is one cool thing but it does have a four second cooldown now flash is another blue um, is a blue one rage spell and with this one you're going to be able to dodge 100% of the damages from other towers except for beam based attacks. That means like ice turrets, lightning towers, storm towers, etc. So if something's coming at you, like cannons or whatever, it's going to actually dodge that by 100% as long as you've got this activated. Now, this will last you for 4.25 seconds, which is a pretty long time for a spell and it is going to cool down for three seconds and this guy does have fire flak resist so let's take him into this base real quick he's level 10 and he's boasting just under the defense power of this base and we'll see how he does okay so i'm not the best with hunter dragons because i've not been flying them very much lately after i got a quester i've been very i don't know become very lazy because she's so strong i guess you could say so please bear with me okay now again he's not a high level dragon he is a lower level dragon i don't think he has much on him either when it comes to runes but so far he seems to shoot out pretty well okay let's go ahead and take out some things here and when i get around to this other side i kind of want to test out a little bit more when it comes to his spells i don't like that there's not a white spell because i'm constantly having to take something out before i can use something all right so there's the spring renewal i did notice a good difference on my um, building back my health that that was fantastic wow that's a strong attack there i really like that one so that one again was called flash so it dodged, it did not, of course, dodge the uh, attacks coming from the lightning, but it did help slow me down and allow me to take those out. All right. Okay, so he's already down to half of his total power, but he's, he's holding up really well. And just take out these so I can use some more spells here. I really like that spring renewal. That, that is amazing. Because not only are you going to be able to see, that's that's beautiful. Beautifully done. Now, I know that if I had a little more practice with this dragon, it would be a much better attack. And I have seen some other people really playing with him, and I know he can do well. So when it comes to this dragon, did you make a mistake getting this while it was on sale? No. You can't make a mistake with any of these dragons, guys. Realistically, they're all wonderful dragons. Now really what it comes down to is your personal preference that's the truth because these legendary dragons are going to be strong no matter which one you choose so if you like warrior dragons then this dragon is going to be fantastic for you 
I personally feel like warrior dragons are those dependable ones that you don't have to, you know, worry about knowing a lot about their spells, but they can get a little boring. Whereas with the hunter dragons, you've got to really get to know your spells and practice with them, but they're never boring. They're always a blast. So when it comes to these dragons, again, you're not going to make a mistake. Choose whichever one is best for your preference because they're all going to be equal in power. Now, I prefer to make sure that any dragon I choose has a white spell, but again, I've said this in other videos, I am waiting out and hoping that they bring a dark elemental dragon in the next amount of dragons they bring at week six. So that's why I'm not getting these dragons on my main account, but if you got them, it doesn't mean it was a mistake. They are wonderful dragons. So my final thought on this, guys, is go for the one you love. If you love hunter dragons, go for the hunter. If you love sorcerers, go for a sorcerer. If you feel like getting out and going into a new dragon, try a new type of dragon. But basically, it comes down to personal preference. They're all equal in power. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that this little dragon review has helped some of you out in deciding whether you've made the right choice for your dragons. I promise you if you're low level and you're struggling with these guys, it's because you're still low level. As they grow up there, if you can get that dragon up into the platinum and so forth ranges, you're going to find that dragon to be extremely strong. Now, if you've already gone that far, I suggest you keep going if you plan on playing this game long term because they're going to take you a long way in the end. All right, before you go, make sure you comment in the video below on what dragon you chose or if you got more than one, which one you might like better. We would love to hear from you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to put that down there as well. And we will see you guys later. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell for notifications. We'll see you again next time. Happy hunting.